I will be giving away a free Miss Lady Rose Bodice and Rule Store on the Garden Skirt too if you would like to enter this giveaway. All you have to do is follow all the rules up on the screen right now and they will also be in the description below if you would like to check there. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanted to do a video on my farming routine in Royal High since a lot of people are wanting diamonds more often now because like new sets are getting released and there are heaps of new updates planned. So um, I just wanted to show you my diamond farming routine and I hope it will help out a lot. So first, um, I don't, you don't have to get this, but I have both of the um, diamond multiplier game passes, which really, really helps. Um, but do not get them if you can't get them because like, if you like um are trying to like force or well, not force but like if you really want them and it's kind of like and your parents are saying no or you're just not allowed to then don't get them because um there are ways that you can get just like a lot of diamonds even without them so even though i do have them it's it's like it's really helpful to have them um if you have enough robux then buy them sure like but only buy them if you really are like committed to the game because if you're not then you might like regret buying them later and obviously no refunds so let's just get started with the farming so first of all we're going to teleport to the apartments now um the first step is like um sleeping because if you didn't know sleeping gives you xp which helps you level up and when you level up you get diamonds so let's head to the apartments hold it okay she's not okay all right hello Yes, I want to take the elevator. Okay. Alright, here we are. So now, just sleep. Um, I already have slept a little bit. And if you turn all the lights off, you sleep faster. Life hack. Okay. Turn the lights off to sleep faster. It's very useful instead of like waiting a minute for your energy to go up all right so once your energy has gone up you can go ahead and teleport to royal high oh wrong button all right new campus all right Okay, now that we're here, this is what you're going to do. You're going to um, go claim a locker. And then you're going to grab all your books. Close the locker. Okay, now I'm going to show you a bunch of diamond locations. Um, and if you have like the game passes, then this is going to be super helpful. Even if you don't have the game passes, then you can like collect these all the time. So first of all, principal's office, fireplace. That will give me 120 with the game passes. Then I'm gonna go over here and there's this, just keep, see this little pathway, you just follow that and there should be this little campsite area. Collect that one, that also gives you 120 only for the game passes. If you don't have the game passes, it will just give you a normal 20. Then you have this one in this little castle-like thingy. I'm not sure what to call it. Um, and then head back to the castle and there is this one in a gate. So now since it's like blocked off, what you gotta do is go into first person. Actually, don't go into first person yet. Go animations. Well, this is only if you don't have the flat speed game pass. If you don't, 
um, go into sitting and press ball formation and then you'll zoom in and then you fly into the thing and you should be able to get in but if you have the flight speed just put it like halfway and then put your face in like so you, it's like through a hole and then you should get in and same with getting out okay Now we're going to go over here, so obviously the one on the diving board. And I don't know if many people know this, but um, if you actually go behind here, there's um, one that gives you, well, for me it gives me 30, but I'm just going to say them normally. So one that gives you 5 and the rest just give you plus 1. And then same with this side. And all these only give you plus one. There's only a five on the other side. Okay. Alright. Now all those ones are done. Fly through this waterfall here. Collect these. And then... Oh. Collect all these. Okay, now um, you're gonna fly, and there's one green. There's so these shards coming out. One of them like doesn't um, glow, which is this one right here, and just fly. And that one is a plus ten. For me, it's plus sixty. Okay, next there's like this little mountain thing, and you just fly straight through it, and then. This should be this random area, and you come over here, and there's another plus 10 there, and you can walk out, and there's ones over here. So, everyone, I'm not sure if anyone, everyone knows this, but there is a 20 on the bell tower, so you always want to check your classes. Um, so, since P isn't one that's going to happen anytime soon, you can get it. But if it's, like, the first class or the second class, then you should not get it, so that you can get it when you actually doing P and then come over this waterfall and get this these ones as well so the other locations are just kind of like over here they're just plus ones um, nothing special um, but they're still you know useful and there's like some up here <laughs> Okay, English class is starting, so I'm going to head there. And if you guys didn't know this, you can skip English class and you'll still get an A+. Also, there's some diamonds behind these curtains. So, um, sometimes there's a, when there's a diamond out there that gives you plus 5, but not today. Okay, so you can just skip English class. Um, if you're on an iPad, the, the questions will pop up on your screen, then um, you should probably just do it anyways but if you're on a computer or a laptop um that won't happen so after you've like collected all the diamonds actually i forgot this one over here same with the other gate you just gotta go into ball formation first person and fly through it but with the flight speed game pass you don't need to okay now um since art is at the end of the day i'm gonna actually go to the art class and fly through this window so same with the gate ball formation first person and try and glitch through but flat speed just go into first person you should easily get out now there's heaps of diamonds out here and if you have the game pass this will give you at least um i'm gonna say at least 500 diamonds that's just my like estimate but if you don't have it, you'll probably get about 100 or actually, no, maybe less, like 50 diamonds. Actually, no, that's not right. You'll get, actually, you might, you might get like 80 diamonds. That's, that's how many you might, you might get. And then instead of glitching back in, if you come to the door, you can just fly through the door and then it will work like a normal door. Okay. 
And then you can just collect the ones around the castle, like on the stairs. Um, every diamond counts. Even if it's just like a plus one. You should still get it. Okay, baking class is starting. There's no really, there's no like tricks for baking class. Unless you want to go into the baking camera, then you can like crack your eggs easier. But I just don't do that because like it's almost the same thing also guys actually there is a trick if you press the space bar and this and the button that says space bar the mixing thing goes faster so that's easier um okay also if you stand at the oven it's kind of just like easier to uh okay vanilla Let's go green. We're gonna make some St. Patrick's Day cupcakes. Alright. Excuse me. What am I doing? Oh, I'm in a pose. Oopsies. Alright, uh, lemon. Birthday cake. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna eat all these cupcakes. Okay. Oh, speaking of food, don't go to lunch and breakfast because it's a waste of diamonds. Um, yeah. I mean, if you can go if you like if you like role playing. Um. Yeah, but I don't go because it's it's just like it it's it's like twelve diamonds to buy a meal, and like I said, every diamond counts. Okay, so after baking is swimming. Oh, okay, there is a good trick for swimming. What time? Oh, wait, I just realized there's no... Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. Oopsies. Okay, you can just eat these cupcake wrappers. To do that, you just press backspace... Um, yeah, okay. Uh, what else? Is there anything else? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. So, in the classrooms, always get all the diamonds. Um, like chemistry lab, there's so many diamonds in there. Um, but if you're, like, if you have to grind a public server, um just try and get them but if you're in a private server you'll have no problem all right one other thing when you like um when you like um get diamonds they always respawn so after like so if you get them in the morning during breakfast then you probably have to wait like English baking swimming to get them again and then computer P lunch and you could probably get them at lunch and then art chemistry and then after the end of the day you can probably go collect them all again. So that is a benefit and a bonus. So, so me is finished. Obviously, I got an A plus, and see that I leveled up, and I got one thousand eight hundred with the diamond game passes. But without the game passes, you usually just get three hundred. It's still good though, so don't need to like complain about it. But yeah, so like I said, the diamonds will respawn. So let's just go back to the principal's office. Also, you can get these ones. Oh snap! Walked into the wall. You can get these ones if you want. I just forget to get them. Okay. Okay. Computer class is like nothing really about it.
Okay, I almost bet my high school. I think my high school is like 101. I got 95 that time. What am I doing? Okay. Now we wait for our next class. While we're waiting, we can go get some more diamonds. <laughs> So with PE, if you have the flat speed, actually I think you can do this without the flat speed game class. But as soon as this thing pops up on the side, you're going to click go and fly to this bench right here. Um, then just wait until the class actually starts. And then this is the easiest way to get to the end. Um, and even in public servers, not many people know this like trick. So... Um, it's like really easy to get to the end. Also, collect all these diamonds because they get it's like free diamonds and it's very useful. All right, I'm gonna hit the bell and then collect this diamond on the roof. All right, after I've collected that. I'm going to get these ones and the waterfall. And now that it's lunchtime, actually. Now that it's lunchtime, you can do a lot of farming. Oh, I forgot to get this diamond. It's not going to give me anything now. Okay. Look out for, like, a lot of diamonds. Because, you know, it's always worth it. Even if it's just one. But, yeah. <laughs> Like I said, diamonds respawn, so you can head back to the art room. Actually, what is after lunch? Oh, art is after lunch anyways. So, I mean, you can get them now or get them after lunch. I don't really care. You do you, boo. Hey, I just gained an extra, well, almost an extra thousand diamonds. So... So far, I've gotten 5,000 diamonds from today, and we're not even, like, well, we're kind of halfway done with this farming routine. But, yeah, you can see the difference. Um, If you don't have the game passes, you're going to get about 3,000, maybe, in this. Um, You can also skip art class, just yeet that paintbrush, and then leave. Okay, now I'm going to do some more farming. Class is finished, so now we wait until chemistry. Oh, actually, you know what? I forgot to get these diamonds. So, like I told you earlier, um, there there are a lot of diamonds in chemistry class. So, collect all of them, or as many as you can if you're in a public server. Okay. Okay.
Okay, now that I've gotten all the diamonds in here, I am going to my backpack to do my homework. Do your homework, people. It's literally so helpful. Like, um, doing it, it gives you XP when you turn it in. So, um, it's just easier to level up like that. Okay. Wait, what do I have? Add. Okay. Chemistry, computer, and English. All right. Once you have. See that? I just leveled up. Okay. Yes. Pop the bubbles. Gives you diamonds. Okay. So, I leveled up and that gave me almost 2,000 again. Now, go back to all the diamond spots. Just see if anything is respawned. And if it has, then definitely collect it. guys so i have now twenty thousand diamonds and that is so good like that is eight thousand diamonds in just one like day of royal high so if you do this like three times a day this could really pay off three times a day equals like almost 30k um or like about 25k and I'm sure like in a week you could at least get well three times a day 25k and then if you did this okay that's 175k in a week that is so good okay we aren't even like that was only half of this farming routine next we're going to enchanting tie this works better in a private server just because actually you know what i guess it doesn't matter because not many people go to enchanting tie i mean if there is a lot of people going to enchanting tie then that's a bit unlucky um, but if there isn't, then that's good. But if you're in a private server, then no worries. Okay. I'm just going to click that. Ready. Okay. So, first diamond in between these wings. 120. That, see that? 120. Okay. Behind these little blue triangles. Well, they're not really little, but behind these blue triangles, there should be diamonds. Um... Okay, that's good. Okay, then come into the animal tree dorm. Wait, this is that. No, that's not the animal dorm. Above the creative dorm. Yes, creative dorm. Tree in the tree that will give you about, I think that gives you 60. And then along these walls, you will get so many diamonds. And when I mean so many diamonds, I do mean it um like look at this just free diamonds lying everywhere this is easy money and the other side okay the animal dorm Okay, we're going to come back to the animal dorm because that's got some diamonds. That's got some good money. Okay. Now, let's go back to the animal dorm. So, let me just get myself the key. Animal dorm. There we go. All right. So if you come into this room here, there should be pink diamond in that chest. And then 
if you come downstairs and go through these bushes, there should be a red diamond right there. So, oh, I just realized shift lock doesn't work that well on this. Okay, after the animal dorm, then come over to the dark dorm. Get myself another key. Okay, so if you just walk down here and then press on cell lock. Wait, did that work? Oh, I'm holding the key. Oopsies. There we go. All right, two diamonds in there. All right. And then come back up. Then we're gonna go over to the student quarters. And down this way is a little spa and there should be a plus 10, I believe. Oh no, just plus five. All right. Outside in the pool, there are a lot of diamonds. Also, this pool is like really deep and kind of scary, but that's besides the point. All right. In the trees, there's a lot of some of these you can't actually get for some reason, but that's, yeah, that's a bit weird. All right, and then you can get these ones. Oh, forgot that was a slide. Forgot about this one behind this tree at the bakery. And this one should have respawned. And the ones behind the triangles again. After that, I have 21,000. Okay. Um, did I check that one? Yes. All right, so now that we're done at um, Enchanting's High, now we can teleport back to the apartments. All right. Apartments. Okay, so once we're at the apartments, sleep again. Turning off the lights. Your energy should be zero. If it's not, you can just like, well, check your phone if your energy, and if it's not, if it's like 20 or so, make like a hot chocolate in the kitchen. So I didn't level up after that because um, my XP star was very low, but if you, if it's like halfway or like even up to this bit here, then you'll definitely level up. Okay, so that was the farming routine that I use, um, like, all the time. And for me, I find it super, super helpful, especially with the Diamond Game Passes. And I definitely recommend this to you guys. And um, even when I didn't have the Diamond Game Passes, this was super helpful. So you guys should definitely use this routine. And thank you for watching. If this helped you or enjoyed or if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content in Roblox. And I will see you guys soon. Also, don't forget to join my giveaway now. Bye, everyone.